Hey guys, so it is time to talk about Mortal Kombat 11 once again. Well, we certainly know more about the game than we did the last time I made one of these videos, which was before the whole premiere reveal event. So yeah, we got a lot of information on the game. Quite a bit. Uh, I mean, the game is coming out in April, so you know, they don't have that much time to kind of just like slowly leak out information. I guess they had to go big or go home. However, the reason I held off reacting to the event like straight after it is because you know whenever a new fighting game gets announced or kind of any game in general but especially fighting games and especially Mortal Kombat which has like such a strong legacy like people are bound to have visceral reactions to any changes I mean I saw it people were either up in arms or they were declaring this game to be the best MK ever oh this is gonna kill every other fighting game on the market or oh no this is gonna be the worst fighting game ever they fucking made Injustice 3 this is gonna suck so the reason I decided to hold off is because of this we didn't comparatively get that much information and or that much gameplay in the reveal event compared to like it was like three hours long and we got what like 40 minutes of gameplay most of it was pros playing so you know Slowly, these past few days, people have been kind of talking about it, people actually played it, uh, Ketchup and Mustard especially have been making some good videos, so I think now everybody's calmed down a little bit, let's go ahead and talk about this game a little bit. So yeah, overall, right now, I'm just gonna say that I'm very optimistic towards this game. I think they addressed most of the changes slash complaints that I wanted addressed. Uh, the number one thing being the kind of more neutral focus slower gameplay now i know this is gonna sound stupid and contradictory but a part of me wanted run running back but i also know that we're never gonna have a neutral focus game where running is in the equation even though it was hype even though run combos were hype and i hope they introduced some type of mechanic that would kind of simulate the idea of run combos although from what we've seen this game is going to be kind of less combo focused in general so yeah more neutral focus game is very appreciated mainly because it allows us to focus on the second biggest thing that i wanted which is more varied playstyles right now we see the new character geras seems to be a grappler uh, Raiden is more of a zoning type character. Scarlet seems to be kind of a mix. You can kind of make her whatever you want to be. Sonya Rousey is an up-close brawler. They kind of really realized that everybody kind of played the same in MKX. It was jump in, overhead low, 40% combo, into knockdown, rinse and repeat. There were very few characters like Commando Kano and Mystic Ermac who actually genuinely played differently to the other characters the second thing that i really like is again the combo focus gameplay while fun does get boring after a while because you know people talk about dialing combos well mkx was full of dialing combos as well for most characters again really the only characters that could get really very creative with their combos were the run cancel characters the other characters had three or four reliable things they could do and it's what you did in every match so you know just with all the new moves and all the different play styles and the game being more neutral focused we are likely to see uh kind of Hopefully more of the characters' arsenals used instead of the one, well not one, but the three, four strings that are actually good. Speaking of the custom variations, I am liking the idea, I'm still liking the idea. Um, being able to pick and choose what you want is going to be really good for kind of matchups and all that. One thing I don't know is how this is going to work in tournaments. Nobody's kind of really addressed this because, you know sure you can set it up before but what if people want to switch you know like before in mkx this was easy they just switch variations but here are we gonna let the players just like sit there for like three four minutes customizing variations and all that for the character so i don't know how it's gonna work maybe they're gonna allow either a few preset variations or make the players i don't know make two or three variations in advance that's gonna be something that's gonna need to be decided um, so yeah, that is an interesting thing and one of the apprehensive things, speaking of uh, apprehensions, I'm really hoping, and I don't remember if they addressed this in the reveal, if you guys know, do let me know in the comments, 
about how you're gonna go about unlocking these moves. I'm praying that all of the characters start out with all their custom moves unlocked because I fucking hate loot boxes. I don't wanna level up. I don't wanna go to the crypt. I don't wanna, you know, open loot boxes. I just wanna play the game and be able to choose my variations and the moves that I want. One of the things I really hated about Injustice 2 was that, you know, sometimes I wanted to play casuals. However, uh, I'm not like a grindy person. I didn't really want to go through multiverse and I didn't have any of the special moves, the extra special moves unlocked for the characters. So I'm really hoping it's not going to be like that. The other thing, speaking of apprehensions, all the cinematic kind of... Fuck, what are they called? I'm just going to call them lethal hits because they are essentially lethal hits from Soul Calibur. Uh, so the lethal hits with the x-ray mechanic, it kind of looks like it's going to become a little bit boring constantly seeing them after a while. I know they said that you can only use each one per game. However, it looks like characters have a lot of them because it breaks you out of the action a little bit. So I don't know how distracting that's going to be in like hype matches and all that to constantly get the slow-mo and all that. One thing I was apprehensive about though, and this is why I decided, and I'm happy that I decided to hold off on making this video, is the X-ray mechanic, which is called Fatal Blow in this game. So the Fatal Blow mechanic, uh, to me, and maybe they didn't explain this clearly in the reveal event, to me it seemed like it worked like a Tekken Rage Drive, where you had it at the end of each round. Turns out, no, each character has it per game. And I'm really happy because I was like, wait, seriously? You're going to give the character a rechargeable 30% free combo per round? Well, turns out not per round. So, you know, that's one of the things that where I'm happy that I decided to hold off because I would have been ranting and raving about that shit and it would have been totally incorrect. Speaking of things that might be uh, correct or incorrect... Uh, Sonya Rousey. I feel like we got to touch on Sonya Rousey a little bit. I mean, whatever. I, they got Ronda Rousey for playing Sonya Blade. I, I guess it's okay. Only thing is, did Mortal Kombat actually need a celebrity endorsement? I honestly do not know. In terms of like the DLCs and all that, you know, pretty much expected in modern fighting games at this point. Uh, one thing I'm really hoping for is that they tone down the guest characters. Like, I hope they learned from Injustice that nobody fucking wanted Raiden. Uh, really nobody wanted Hellboy. So I'm hoping they're going to stick to a max, I don't know, two, three guest characters. One guest character I do really want is uh, someone from Evil Dead, specifically Ash Williams. So yeah, if there's one guest character that's on my bucket list, it's him. But anyways, right now, again, we have a lot better of an idea of what the game is gonna be like, what it's shaping up to be. I'm hoping the game is exciting in tournaments because that is one of the most important things. Well, aside from being fun to play, you know, I'm really hoping that the game is fun to watch as well because it's really gonna contribute to the longevity. I feel like Injustice 2, um, part of why the game kind of died out quickly is because it's not very interesting to watch. It's fun to play, the game is technical, there's a lot of stuff. Um, however, from a spectator standpoint, I just didn't feel like watching uh, Injustice 2 tournaments, which was definitely not the same for Mortal Kombat X. So really, that's all I'm hoping for, that the game is fun to play and it's fun to watch. And right now, um, fun to play is definitely looking good. Uh, fun to watch. The reveal event, I think one of the reasons why people were so apprehensive is because the pros that played, they really seemed like they wanted to win. So they used a lot of zoning and that I think gave people false impressions. I really urge people who are still worried about that to check out uh, Catch Up and Mustard's gameplays. It's a lot more close combat focused, a lot more combo focused and a lot more Mortal Kombat-ish. So yeah, right now I think these are my thoughts on MK11. There's going to be a beta, which I'm going to for sure try signing up to. And of course, the game is not that far away. So yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, you know, comment on what you think about the game currently. And yeah, hope to see you next time. Goodbye.